we've got a, a multi-year plan that we're, we're working on. Um, and we knew rolling out of the pandemic, we needed to have something ready. Oh my God. All righty, you guys are about to get a whirlwind of content because there's gonna be daily construction updates still. Then we're gonna start focusing on 2024 and 2025. And this weekend, or this Friday, this weekend, uh, we have a special treat for you guys, okay? I can't talk about it yet, but we have a special treat. So stay tuned to this channel because this next week is gonna be super awesome. With that being said, I'm here to discuss what you just heard. So for those of you that have been paying attention to the podcast, you know that we've been talking about this almost like multi-year expansion project that is gonna finish off Frontier Canada, or at least that's my prediction. Let me stress again that everything discussed in my videos is pure speculation and rumors until Canada's Wonderland makes an announcement. With that being said, I am speculating that Frontier Canada is coming to an end by 2025. Um, so these are my predictions slash things that have already announced, even though I had predicted them for the most part. Um, so 2023 is obviously Snoopy's Racing Railway and Tundra Twister. Um, both amazing attractions. Again, it was a really significant budget. They're renovating, um, what do you call it? Timberwolf Falls um, this season as well, and painting Vortex. Again, a huge emphasis on enhancing Frontier Canada, and they also added Lazy Bear Lodge. All these things are really major investments to enhance the area, and you're going to con continue to see this in 2024, and 2025 will be the big project. Again, we're predicting a really massive coaster in 2025 to finish off Frontier Canada. And for those of you that have been paying attention, you know the location. But both of these attractions are absolutely amazing. Um, I love Tundra Twister. Snoopy's Racing Railway obviously is in Frontier Canada, but it's in Planet Snoopy. Um, and in 2024, I'm going to stick to my original prediction, even though um, we can assume that the flying theater is off the table. I still think they're gonna invest in a dark ride in action theater um, because action theater is in Frontier Canada. It's an indoor attraction, an indoor building that will allow um, itself to run during Winterfest. So it just makes sense. I can't see them not utilizing action theater. And 2024 is that off year where they can invest in a dark ride um, as well as, you know, their typical other attraction that we see. Wonderland's a very predictable park in terms of additions and their timelines although we are seeing things um accelerated now and it sounds like wonderland you know was chosen we've seen carowinds get the multi-year expansion we've seen cedar point get the multi-year expansion um and now it's truthfully and I, I can back this up from what i'm hearing out of the rumor mill that canada's wonderland is going to get some serious investments and this multi-year expansion into frontier canada isn't even the end of that multi-year expansion they're going to move into world expo after that um, but with that being said, I think a dark ride, I'm just showing an intimate one. I don't know what one's coming. This isn't me telling you this is what's coming. I was just trying to look outside of flying theaters just because the park had kind of hinted or grace on the podcast that they wouldn't build an attraction that you could find elsewhere in Canada. Um, and now with the flying theater coming to Toronto, I'm not quite sure that um, Cedar Fair would move forward with a flying theater in action theater. With that being said, I'm still going to stick to this, although the likelihood of a dark ride or a flying theater coming to um, action theater has diminished a little bit. Um, but again, I can't see it fully diminishing because it's it just doesn't make sense to not invest in a dark ride in action theater for both Winterfest. They need more indoor attractions. Um, so that's definitely my prediction for the ride um, for 2024. You're gonna see enhancements, probably a new restaurant as well, um, and Whitewater Canyon upgrades, but I also predict that Splashworks could see some love. Again, they're really trying to theme Splashworks to a Canadian theme moving forward. So I can definitely see them moving forward with that with maybe um, a slide complex and if, I could see them going a little more aggressive and maybe expanding it a little larger than that. Um, they definitely need another wave pool. The only problem I see Canada's Wonderland having is staffing. They've definitely found it difficult to staff the water park over the last couple years. So I'm not quite sure how aggressive they would go with that. 
But with that being said, let's go to 2025. So from what we're hearing through the rumor mill already, and this is rare, when we start hearing rumblings and getting very solid proof that Canada's Wonderland is going to receive a major coaster, keywords major coaster in 2025, this is what really makes you start to push the envelope in terms of your predictions. For those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, I've constantly been predicting a mock double launch, a launch coaster in Frontier Canada. I definitely thought it would go down the extreme spinner route because it was something that was like kind of clickbait. I think Canada's one and really needs that clickbait super um, large attraction. And I always thought that the extreme spinner would be the attraction that Canada's Wonderland would choose just because it's almost like the BNM. Like Mock is, I view them as like the BN. They got really comfortable um, restraints. They have not that aggressive of a height restriction for their coasters, which is perfect for a family park. But it's also got that element that they could advertise the spinning trains and the launch, you know, fastest launch in Canada, which is going to be super easy for Wonderland to take back. And again, this is why I'm going to stick to the prediction that they're getting a launch coaster for 2025. Um, and if not, it's definitely going to be a wing coaster or a surf coaster. But with that being said, I'm really starting to hope, fingers crossed, that maybe it's not the extreme spinner that we thought, and maybe it's going to actually be an Intamin multi-launch coaster, like the one you're seeing on the screen now. I had the pleasure of riding one at Busch Gardens Williamsburg recently on a trip, and they were phenomenal, a lot more intense than I was expecting, if you could tell by my reactions on the screen right now. I fell in love with this coaster. I fell in love. And with recent rumblings coming out of El Toro Ryan um, stating that Cedar Fair was checking out VelociCoaster at um, Islands of Adventure, it really does bring you to Canada's Wonderland being a key player in receiving that type of coaster. We're one of the only parks in the chain that doesn't have that like awesome launch coaster element at the park. And a coaster that does multi-launch that speed and a top hat would really draw in the crowds at Canada's One. It would be Wonderland. It would be super marketable. And I think it just fits. So I'm super excited and keeping my fingers crossed and hopes, hopes up that Canada's Wonderland is going to be that park that receives this in 2025. I do know that the budget for the 2025 coaster is significant. Um, and, um, I'm excited to see what it plays out to be. Again, whenever you look at a budget, that includes everything about the coaster. So there's a chance, there is a chance, a very small chance they could go down the GCI route and then it's just including like a lot of theming and a restaurant and all that as well in the budget. But I, I, I don't think they'd go down the wooden coaster route unless we see one of those things removed at the end of this season. So definitely keep an eye out for that because that'll tell you everything. But I really think Canada's Wonderland is going to aggressively go after the launch coasters. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. After seeing the C City News uh, thing with the park and the park blatantly just stating that they had that multi-year plan that they were moving forward with, um, I thought that I would re-bring this up even though we've been discussing it on every single podcast. And we're going to discuss it even more in detail tomorrow, 8 p.m. Saturday. Saturdays, obviously the podcast. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. A construction update will follow in about an hour. So awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great one, guys. Bye.